Hi all and welcome to this video about creating assessments in Ecamm. During this video, I will talk about selecting an IPCC report, creating assessments, and also duplicating assessments. We will create and manage assessments in the configurations page. You can see here that it it has an area for selecting the Global Warming Potential Report, or the IPCC report. The standard is the most recent report, but the tool also gives you the option to select other reports, which might be relevant depending on which institution or government you're reporting to. You can see that there is already an assessment created. It's called Untitled Assessment. You can change the name of the assessment by clicking Change Assessment Name and typing whichever name you'd like to use. The next step is entering the assessment period. The assessment period is incredibly important because it dictates over which period of time you enter the rest of your data. So if you enter a month here, the rest of your data should be per month. If you enter a year, it should be per year. The standard is to use the 1st of January to the 1st of January. But, of course, you're free to use any time period that you have data for. The next step is to select the country. Let's say that we are evaluating a facility in Bangladesh. This fills in some information about the emissions and the water in that country. But if you have information that's more specific to your facility, so if you know something more accurately than this, than these countrywide estimates, then you can go ahead and change that. Let's say we know that the emissions factor for grid electricity is lower in the region that we are working in. We can go ahead and edit that. The other thing that you can do in configuration is create new assessments. You can create as many as you'd like. This lets you edit and assess different utilities or time periods in parallel. You can also duplicate assessments, which can be really helpful if you want to have different versions of the same utility, then you don't have to enter all the data twice. All right, that's it on creating assessments. Hope this video was helpful. Make sure to look at other videos if you have more questions.